Now we're going on to another traditional technique. This one goes back before the turn of the century and is cocoa painting. For cocoa painting, you need cocoa, which I've got here, and I've got some melted fats here. I'm using Trex. In fact, the best thing to use is cocoa butter, but it's a little bit difficult to find. Just have it over some hot water and that will keep your fat melted and you simply mix the two together. So depending on how heavy a colour you want, you simply mix a bit more cocoa into it. The design of the cat I've actually traced onto the plaque um, simply so that the cameras could see it. And you can start wherever you like on your pussy cat and paint the detail. If you want fine detail, use a finer brush. You can bring out little wispy bits of hair. One of the big advantages of cocoa painting, which all can be a disadvantage in some other ways, is the fact that it never really sets, because your fat never sets. So what you can do is to use a sharp point, like a scriber, and get your hair, especially for something like an animal, to give it texturing. If you want a lighter area, just very gently brush it on. Now for his paws. You can find all sorts of designs for cocoa painting and flooding and anything you want to do with pictures. Things like cards, wrapping paper, children's books are very good, uh, painting books are very good for designs because they give you very clean, clear illustrations to copy. If there's something you don't like, for example, I think I've done his foot a little bit too heavy, just use the back of a knife or a palette knife and take it away. And so you'll end up with a lighter effect underneath. Just using cocoa and your white vegetable shortening makes it cocoa painting. If you introduce a little bit of the dusting colour into your picture then you can't really call it cocoa painting but it's quite nice for highlighting and we can bring this down the pussycat's nose and then go over it with my brush with the cocoa on it. So you can see just how easy cocoa painting is. And here are some other examples. <laughs> 